In this series of videos about profit leakages in EPC business, I'm going to cover the profit leakage in transportation, which is a very, very common revenue leakage area that gets unnoticed. If you haven't seen my earlier video in which I have talked about six areas of profit leakages, please go through it. I'm going to elaborate further on extra transportation cost in this video. Transportation is one cost head in which there is a huge scope of profit leakage if not monitored properly. There are three types of transportation cost, inward material transportation, outward that is dispatch to clients and third local transportation to pick up and drop outsource processes like machining, painting, etc. In simple words, we should try and get door delivery prices from our vendors and negotiate X work prices with our customers because you are not in transportation business. You are in engineering project business. So first is inward freight cost. I personally feel that the best option for us is to negotiate door delivery price with our vendor. Whether we need material urgently or we can give enough time to the vendor, we shouldn't have to worry about transportation cost. In other words, the risk is passed on to the vendor. Anyways, this is not a big concern area. Second one is the local transport. This is usually the most inefficient and unplanned area where there is a huge potential of spending more. Typical example is that you send out material for processing such, such as machining, plating, painting, etc. Or you buy some secret items from your local vendors. In such cases, a small vehicle like a three-wheeler tempo or a pickup van is continuously busy picking up and dropping material. The issue is that the number of trips can be drastically reduced if such material movement is planned. If we plan ahead even for a day, if not a week, we can considerably reduce the number of trips. In fact, the number of trips in a day or a week must be capped. Our team gets into the habit of planning and saving trips if we give them such targets. In absence of such capping, everyone will use the vehicle as and when they are ready. If we are in firefighting mode all the time, in production and procurement, then the results into getting, that results into getting more and more transportation cost. Planning reduces firefighting and urgent requirements. So to plug this profit leakage of local transportation, planning the trips in advance and capping the maximum number of trips are the two solutions. Third is the outward transportation. This is a big area and unlike local transportation, the instances of spending extra are less. However, if things go wrong, the risk could be much bigger. Best way here again is to always negotiate X work price so that all the escalation risks are to the customer's account. Transportation is not your core business and we might end up making mistakes there. I just wish to list down a few situations where transportation cost could be way more than your budgeted cost. Like ODC, that is over dimension cargo. It attracts very high cost, both for domestic transport as well as exports. You need to make sure that you can accommodate your equipment within container dimensions. Even if your equipment is few inches more than the standard container dimensions and if you are to go in for an open container, the cost could be few times higher than the standard container. Even for domestic shipments, knowledge of processes, accurate estimation of number and types of vehicles required their load carrying capacity, dimensions, all that is necessary. If in doubt, ask, don't assume, because wrong assumptions can cost a big sum. Do not just calculate transportation cost as percentage of your total sales price. Accurately calculate it. Negotiate for extra cost of transportation and preferably with some buffer to take care of the escalations. Remember, every rupee you save 
directly adds to your profits. Thank you.